guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to talk about, drum roll please, my favorite Lush products. And I have been going to Lush for a while now and they have the most amazing, amazing products ever. I absolutely love their products. They're all vegan, they're all natural, and they seriously work wonders. My face has completely improved in the texture, in pigmentation, and just overall, like the health of my skin has been so much better than before because of these products. And of course, I was seeing an esthetician like last year around there, and that helped a lot, but it was some of these products that truly, truly made an entire difference. I'm gonna go through all of the facial products that I used on my face, and there I have two products that is technically like for your body, um, but it's so good anyway, I just wanted to include all of my favorite products from Lush. This video is probably gonna take a hot minute to get through. I'm gonna try to go through it as quickly as possible, but if not, just grab a snack pause for a second and come back and have something to eat with you because we might be here for a little bit. Okay, so I'm gonna start with um, taking off my makeup and like the process that I go through with that, um, with the products. First and foremost, I always take off my makeup with a makeup wipe first or some sort of makeup wipe that I have and get my, you know, just initially all the makeup off and then I go in with this bad boy here. This is called Nine to Five, and it's a cleansing lotion or some sort of cleansing milk. That whatever um, makeup that I have left over that I didn't get off with the makeup wipe, this takes it off completely. You can even just use this and take off your makeup. Like right now, I have a full face of makeup. You can just use this, honestly, and it'll get it off. It'll get the job done. But I don't want a big, huge mess, so I. So I do part of the job with makeup wipe and then I go in with nine to five. It says here that it's beautifully light orchid and almond oil lotion to cleanse and freshen the complexion. Simple, elegant, and easy to use. So you smooth all over the face and remove with, with cotton pads for clean and clear skin. You can also just rinse it off. That's what I do. That's what someone at the Lush store told me that you can rinse it off as well. That's no big deal. It won't leave like a film or any sort of like greasy residue afterwards. It'll just come right off. And I think for your eye makeup, you want to use a cotton pad and wipe that off instead of like water or anything like that. So I go in with this and it's vegan, all natural, and it's fresh, handmade cosmetics. I absolutely love this product here. And all you need is like, seriously, I just take my hand like this and I put a little bit like right here, just mix it together, put it on my face, wash it off, and then we're good to go for the next step. So I always use a cleansing lotion first before I get into any of like, you know, deep cleansing or facial, um, facial cleansers. Now the facial cleanser that I use does not come from Lush. I actually use a facial cleanser from Clarence and I got it at Ulta. And I also have a, um, a spin brush for the face that goes with it and it works very well. It, it really cleanses my skin very deeply. But after that, I always, like I exfoliate like, pretty much every other day because I have pigmentation from leftover acne scarring. So I go in with Angels on Bare Skin and I absolutely love this. It smells so good. It really is. And it's a um, face and body cleanser. So it's also an exfoliant, but it's not as harsh as Dark Angels, which is more of like sugar and car um, charcoal. And it's really good. I've used it for about a good, I want to say five months. And initially when I had really, really dark pigmentation and heavy acne scarring, I used that and it's a black, it, like it's called Dark Angels because it's black, it's a black conceal, uh, not concealer, the black cleanser. And with the charcoal and everything, it totally like, empties out your pores, cleanses and cleans. It's like a deep, deep cleaning and I needed that because my pores were just so filled with just gunk and it was so nasty that I really needed that. So I used 
Dark Angels for a while, but then I switched over to Angels on Bare Skin because my skin was getting to a point where it was getting a lot better. Everything was changing. I didn't need the harshness of the charcoal anymore, so I switched over to this, and it's so great. It's a cleanser scent from above. Lavender evens out skin tone, while scrubby almonds give a healthy glow. And all you need to do is break off a little bit, a little piece, and I'll show you how it looks like. How it looks like in here. All you need to do is break off a little piece, and what you do is you, I, this is what I do. I have like a little like pea size portion in the middle of my palm. And then I take some water and I wet this hand and then I start to mix it and it creates like a paste almost. And then I go through and I start, you know, washing my face with that, with my hands, getting the almonds everywhere. Just really nice. It's a gentle exfoliation. It's not anything super, super heavy. So I do this after I initially just like wash my face with the um, with the cleansing brush and then I go in with this for an extra cleanse. Once I'm done cleansing and everything, then I go in with some toner water. And my favorite toner water right now is Breath of Fresh Air by Lush. Oh, so good. It's a mineral rich sea breeze captured in a bottle. Treat your face to cooling aloe vera, soothing rose, and clarifying herbs. It's expertly blended for smooth, balanced skin, and this totally, totally works. Like, you could even use it right now as like a, you could spritz it on your face now, even on top of your makeup, and it's to give a nice, cooling sensation to the face, and it's supposed to clarify your skin with the herbs that it has in it, aloe vera, and it's so, so nice. And it's a nice, cooling sensation after you heavily cleanse your, uh, your face. And then basically you close your eyes and you spritz on your face or you can spritz into a cotton pad to wipe away like any dirt. So I love, love this toner water here. For my moisturizer, it's so hard to get a moisturizer from Lush sometimes because some of the best moisturizers are like $40 and it comes in a little container like this. Um, I used to use vanishing cream, not vanishing cream. Something with vanishing in the title. And it's like $45, but it's so, so good because it has lavender in it. And also it has these um, ingredients that help with the pigmentation so it can get lighter. And I, I stopped buying that one because I wanted to try something to um, be able to balance out the oils in my skin plus the dryness that I get when the seasons change. So I got Imperialis right here. And this is to soothe, soften, and brighten with this calming lavender and orange blossom cream. Its bal balancing effects make it lovely for a skin with a split personality. So if you are a mixture of oily and dry, like I am, like sometimes I get dry in certain seasons or in certain months out of the year, but then I'm oily everywhere else, this is perfect. It leaves your skin very smooth, very soft, and it's so, so awesome. Like it really is. And all you need, again, is just a little bit, like you, Take a little bit out of your hand, onto your hand, mix it in, and then you start moisturizing your face. And it's so nice, especially at the end of the routine. Then I go to bed, and I'm good to go for the morning. And this is about like, like $25, so it's half, almost half the price of the Vanishing Lotion, the Vanishing Moisturizer from Lush, which is also really good if you're willing to spend 45 bucks. But I not really willing to spend that anymore. I tried it once and I, and I did like it, but um, it, I think it's a lot to dish out on just like one little container of moisturizer. So for days that I need a mask or something on my face um, to just take out ex any extra impurities, I try to um, do a mask on my face at least once a week, and if not once a week, then twice a week. I'll do some sort of clarifying mask with a hydrating mask, um, or something with radiance in it. Um, recently, I just purchased three different mud masks from Shea Moisture, and that's also all organic, vegan, not tested on animals, anything, everything like that. I saw it at Walgreens, and I was so curious to try it, and so far I've tried the clarifying mask and the hydrating one, and my goodness, it is the bomb, the absolute bomb, guys. So anyway, but I can do another review on that if you guys want me to. So, but with Lush, one of their favorite masks, at least for me, is their Mask of Magnetite. It smells 
amazing. And I'm not a person that likes the smell of mint, but oh my gosh. It smells so good and it's green because it has, um, let me see the ingredients in here. Usually it says it. Oh, it says pepper, a pack full of peppermint, um, kaolin, and scrubby aduki beans for deeply cleansed skin. So what I do is you, you know, take it, you put it all over your face and it's, um, it's also an exfoliant, so when you wash it off with a damp cloth, a warm damp cloth, it's going to also exfoliate your face as well. And it smells amazing. I just, oh, I wish you could smell it. It smells so good. Like, oh, it reminds me of like Christmas peppermint. Mm, that's exactly what it reminds me of, this Christmas peppermint. That's the only peppermint that I absolutely love. Any other sort of mint, I'm not a huge fan of because I don't know why. I don't know why I don't like this of like mint, especially mint and chocolate. Most people love that combination. Like Olive Garden gives you the little mint chocolate candies. I hate those. I think it ruins the chocolate. Because if I'm gonna have chocolate, it's gonna be chocolate. Chocolate. Remember that episode from SpongeBob? Anyone was a 90s child? Anyway, this is my absolute favorite, favorite mask from Lush. I think I need to get another one because this one's expired. Sorry, this one's expired already, so I need to um, go get grab a new one whenever I get to the mall. And just to let you guys know, these products do expire. They do because it's all natural. It's handmade with natural ingredients, and they do go bad. That's the thing. After a while, the ingredients do go bad. I mean, let's just be honest. Um, but they last a pretty long time. That, like for example, this toner water, it does not expire until next year. So um, specifically, July of next year. So I. I'll do, I use this every day, so I'm going to go through it before that. Okay, this product is a body product, but it can also be a face product if you so choose. And it is called Ocean Salt. This thing is amazing. Ocean Salt, it is great. It smells good. It smells good. Mm. And this one specifically has... It's a scrub. It's a sea salt scrub, obviously. So this is called Ocean Salt. It's a sea salt scrub. It's a vodka infused cocktail for bright, fresh skin. Go coconuts with our best selling sea salt scrub. And this is amazing. This removes dead skin and it softens, leaving you with moisturized and supple skin. And I have really dry arms, like the back of my arms here, and I've always had that since I was a kid. I always had super, super dry skin on my arms. And using this in the shower, like right after I um, I soap myself up and with my loofah and take a shower, put this right after, I just work it into the skin. It's so, so good. You can also use this on your face, but I don't recommend using this every day because the sea salt is very, very rough. And it's good for your skin, especially since you have like dry skin, but it's not good for your face since your face is so sensitive. You don't want to use it all the time. I try using this maybe not even once a week, once every other week to really just exfoliate. Like I have a day where I might just, um, instead of using angels on bare skin, I'll use the ocean salt instead. So I'll kind of like switch them out once every other week because this will help with pigmentation because it has that intense sea salt scrub in it and you just have to be gentle. You don't need to, you know, really, you don't need to like force it in there, but as long as you're really gentle, it'll really get rid of all of those dead skin cells. So this is kind of like a mix of the two. You can use it for your face and for your body. Okay, lately I've been obsessed with their shaving cream and the one I love right now is called Dirty. It's called Dirty and it has lavender and oat milk cream in here. It smells so good. I really wish there was like smell a vision so you can actually like smell this and I use this a lot and I bought this a while back and it doesn't expire till July of next year or not July, June of next year but look at it, it barely crept into it and it gives for so much. It doesn't get soapy so you're not going to be looking for suds or anything like that or some sort of foam. It doesn't get foamy. It just kind of like, like that dissolves, but it dissolves into your skin. And it gets, your skin starts getting really soft, razor through, and it leaves you with nice, soft skin. Awesome. 
awesome, awesome, awesome. So I love this shaving cream. It's one of my favorites from Lush. I use nothing else but the shaving cream when I'm ready to shave. And finally, the last product, finally we're there. Oh, there's so many things, I'm trying to get through them as quickly as I can uh, for you guys. The last one is called Ruse Argan Body Conditioner. And it's, it works exactly the way you would when you condition your hair. So you can make your hair nice and soft and restore like the split ends. And not only just like restore it, but bring moisture into your hair. And this is exactly what it does. It's a conditioner full of nourishing butters topped with our addictive rose jam fragrance. Indulgence has never smelled so sweet. So basically, um, after you take a shower, before you even like dry yourself off, put some of this on, like on your arms. It smells so good. Put this on your arms, your legs, anywhere in your body that you want to feel nice and soft. And then you leave it there for like a minute, like just like you would regular conditioner for your hair for about a minute. And then you rinse yourself off and oh my goodness, it's like you don't even need lotion after that. But I still lotion anyway because I just want that extra, extra softness, especially on my arms. My arms are like the worst. So when I saw this, I smelled this. Oh, I was just in love with the smell. So, so good. I love this body conditioner. And here's the trick that I use for my legs to keep them super soft after I shave. I This is the process that you're technically supposed to go through with shaving your legs. I don't know who um, knows this out there, but it's something that I just recently found out. You don't just put soap on and just shave your legs or put shaving cream on and shave your legs. You actually have to like wash your legs, like wash the hair um, with like, you know, with your um, body wash and then you rinse it and then I put ocean salt to exfoliate and then I put the shaving cream, shave, and afterwards I go in with the body conditioner, leave it for a minute, rinse that off, and then put my moisturizer and my legs are so, so soft. So those are all the products that I have from Lush that I've absolutely loved. I've tried other things and haven't loved them as much, but these are like my top products from Lush. I have eight products in total so I'm surprised I was able to get through it in a decent amount of time I'm just trying not to like linger on so much and not take forever with this video even though I've st I really wanted to show you guys my favorite favorite Lush products so I think that is basically it so I hope you guys enjoyed this video please like subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you in the next video bye guys